Previously on my channel, I've had a few headband videos and I thought I would end the year with this different one. I am a newbie to hand embroidery, but I'm going to show you how I used the hand embroidered fabric to create this headband. If you're new to my channel, my name is Juliet Uzor and you are absolutely welcome. Here I have hand embroidered <laughs> this fabric off camera. I got the kits from Makebox and I have a code, a 10% off code for you. The box came with everything I needed to be able to create the headband and a pattern piece as well. The pattern piece is so easy to construct. All you would need to do is make sure that the, <laughs> the headband you're going to be working with is exactly the same length as the paper pattern. The pattern, if I remember clearly, was about five inches wide. You can see that this is the exact length of the headband. So feel free to explore this and make yours as wide as you would like. Also, it came with the middle of a headband piece. You just feel free to make yours the way you want it to be. A tip for anyone who's done hand beading or hand embroidery, face it upside down on top of a towel and press lightly so you won't distort what you've worked on. And when you do the pressing, make sure everything is nice and flat before you cut out the pattern pieces. Using that same pattern piece that you used for the front, you need to cut out the lining part as well. And just to show you what I mean, this fabric piece measures exactly the same length as the headband measures. So with right sides together, pin your fabric pieces. So at the sewing machine, what I did was I sewed around just three sides of the fabric, leaving one of the sides open. That open part would enable you to turn the fabric around and get the right side out. Remember to use a blunt object to poke out the parts that are still hidden inside and give, give it a steam press. I still use my towel to do this pressing part and fold in about one centimeter of the open part, press it down because you would need to um, pass the headband through that opening. And then off camera, I did some stitching. I used um, a hand sewing needle to cover that, to close up that opening. Now it's time to cut out the middle of the headband. This middle of the headband was about two inches um, wide and about three and a half inches long. sew around it leaving a little opening to enable you to turn it around but do not forget to clip off the corners of the fabric piece so when you cut off those corners it would give you a nice squared out middle of the headband piece <laughs> so using a blunt object I turned the I um, poked out the corners of the fabric just to make it nice and, you know, squared, if that makes sense. And then I sewed up that opening using my sewing machine because I knew it was going to be hidden underneath the headband. So 
so back to our headband what i'm doing now is i am you know creating some sort of a pleat at the middle of the headband so you need to be a pleat and i wrapped the middle of the headband that little rectangle that was sewed up i wrapped it around and i hand sewed that little rectangle together to make sure it stays nice and secure <music> It's, it doesn't end there. The very end of the headband needs to look a bit narrower. Otherwise, it won't sit nicely behind the ears. So just a little tuck is what you need to do. You fold both ends of it and slip stitch. I stitched about one centimeter um, and, you know, just like kept it nice and secure. And after that, I did it on the other side to keep the headband ends looking narrower than the rest of the headband. And that's your headband. Remember to check out my other headband making videos here on the channel i will leave them linked in the description box below and i'll leave one of them here on the screen i do hope to see you next time here on the channel and i wish you a happy new year and enjoy the rest of your day all the very best take care bye